Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see today we are going to talk about fresh release from ICM. It is made in 124 scale and it copies a car and as you can see it's a model T1913 Speedster but this time it's not only the car but also as you can see here American sport car drivers. So basically you get a combo out of car and figures in the same kit. Uh, scale and of course they will be handy for a simple diorama so that it won't be just an empty vehicle it will be a vehicle with two riders inside and we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review we are going to open it and check everything closer but first before we do this let me remind you that we are collecting money for the new PC and I'm actually getting the loan for this new PC so um, I'm I would say asking for your help so that if you want to donate we have a special donate or support button on our website it's done via PayPal and of course you decide how much you would like to send us uh, even the small amount is really important but all donations higher than 30 US dollars they will get some special bonus from me I will be sending it out um, directly to them with help of post so stay tuned and of course um, I would like to thank all of you who already donated because this is really important for us as you know uh, it interrupted our live streams which we finally revived and also I had several interesting ideas but now I can't implement them without PC. So this kit um, I would say packaging is standard for ICM as you can see we have nice box art then on the side we have some information about this kit here and here here about real vehicle here about actual kit so there are 99 plus 24 parts so 24 for figures and 99 for vehicle and here you can see a color profile for this vehicle but I hope there will be a, another marking option let's say but again nobody stops you from choosing some different color and implementing it on your vehicle. All current releases from ICM they come sealed with this uh, transparent tape so I'm going to cut through it and we will see what is actually hidden inside and what this kit has to offer. As I said it should be already available so if you are not patient you can get it in any good model shop for example Model MX should have it for sure as far as I remember uh, when I checked last time it was in their warehouse now I'm trying to open another sticker and we'll start okay so box structure is typical for ICM and here you can see it so we have this um, really thin top lid which is tight sitting but as you can see it's flexible it doesn't provide any protection so we throw it away and here we have 30 white cardboard box which actually protects all the parts here is what we have inside as you can see all parts packed into this single plastic bag and here on the bottom we have another plastic bag with parts for figures okay so let's remove the dust from this box and we will start with this plastic bag so here we have all the sprues for the speedster version of model T okay first and the biggest plastic sprue in this kit is actually interconnection between two sprues so we can zoom in a bit so that you can see them closer and as you can see these parts are mainly external but we also have for example here engine and drivetrain we have also some suspension parts exhaust tube here and everything looks cool it's really good that engine is included out of the box you won't have to spend some extra money for some aftermarket upgrade everything is included without any extra expenditures and next we go on with various accessories for external detailing we can zoom in even more now you should be able to see it and note this Ford logo on the grill it's pre-molded so I would recommend to use dry brush method in order to bring it out we have also a thin frame for the windscreen and as far as I remember some others were saying that it's possible to build um, the actual windscreen without using the masks but I'm not sure if it is working here so we'll have to check the assembly manual next we go on with wheel rims 
So these ones are plastic and I hope you understand what that means. It means that we also have vinyl tires. They're packed into the separate plastic bag and I'm going to open them in a second. And frankly speaking, this time they're a bit strange because we have here a bit of flash on these vinyl tires. And that's really unusual for ICM because um, I would say typical ICM kit packed really clean vinyl tires. But here we have them with vinyl flash around. And that's not such a cool thing, I would say. So if you have a chance to replace it with some maybe a resin upgrade, maybe something else, do it because 124 scale it will be noticeable that you upgraded such important part. Next we go on with clear parts. Here they are. So molding quality looks great. As usual we don't have any masks included so if you would like to cover them you are on your own of course and there are no templates as far as I remember for Model T. But molding quality is really great. I mean here ICM produces amazing stuff and it's really uh, difficult to find any problem with them. Next we go on with the last grey plastic sprue. So this one is dedicated to various internal elements. As you can see we have the floor, also separate seats, a uh, fuel tank which should be glued out of two house and various external body panels and parts for spare wheel. Everything looks cool. Here you can see these seats, so they're detailed inside as well. We can zoom in so that you can see them closer. Here they are. Okay. And one more clear port. It is for Spitzer version. So as you remember, Spitzer version had circle or windscreen, so here it is. This circle or port will be applied in front of driver's seat. Okay. Next we go on with another plastic bag and another plastic sprue. Here it is. So just give me a second to open it and we will take it out. So there are two figures, 124 scale, but that should be more than enough to place them into the vehicle and display your vehicle with two riders inside. So here you can see them closer and I would say overall design is typical for 124 scale it means that torso is divided into two halves the same can be said about this figure and we have really nice detailing because it's a typical I would say feature of ICM kits so here you can see them closer for example and the only thing required from you is careful painting and maybe weathering of these parts of these figures and maybe our careful assembly because you have to solve these um, joints between parts so that they won't be so visible on the finished model obviously so you have to get the smooth connection between these parts but I think that's not a surprise for experienced plastic figure builder. Next we go on with assembly manual and it's a bit strange why it doesn't fit into the box because we have also separate assembly manual for figures which is bigger than the box size. So here you can see this figure assembly manual. Let's zoom out a bit. I wonder why they did not fold it in half. It would be a bit more convenient. But on the first page we have parts map and paints chart and some safety devices. And here you can see assembly manual combined together with uh, painting guide for these two figures. Okay, and next we have assembly manual for vehicle itself. So on the first page we have short history note and technical specifications, some safety devices and paints chart here. So we flip over this page and you can notice this parts map which looks really nice because it shows which parts are not used in this kit. Next we go on with assembly process. So it starts with engine and as you can see there are a lot of small parts to apply in it so it's not a basic copy of this engine. Maybe it would be worth thinking how to expose it on the finished vehicle. It is up to you obviously. Next we go on with some wheel axle parts and suspension parts, drivetrain which is applied on the rear and next we continue with this exhaust tube. Some parts for the engine again. Here we continue with more parts for the front side. And here we have some arms for this suspension frame. So as you can see it will be X 
structure. Of course we assemble road wheels, but obviously they won't be installed in real build sequence on this step because they have to be left separate and installed on the last steps in my opinion. Next we continue with bonnet parts. So as you can see manufacturer does not offer the open bonnet version so if you would like to expose the engine inside you will have to think it through because there are no alternative parts for such version. Next we continue with driver and passenger seat. We install them on the floor. Here we assemble the fuel tank. It gets installed behind driver and passenger and we also have this small trunk and next we install pedals and various control elements windscreen as you remember I said it will be circular so it is installed into a special circular frame and it gets installed on the steering wheel which is really interesting design as you can see there is no separate um, I would say windscreen so it's just a small circular frame in front of driver's seat and that's pretty much all what protects you from the wind and in total you have to perform 55 steps in order to get your vehicle ready to be painted or maybe to display it to be displayed and here on the last page you can see one and only marking option which is the same as what we saw on the boxer but as I said nobody limits you in a color's choice so if you would like to get for example red and maybe gray or maybe red and blue you can use it here obviously black version is also applicable for this car and as I said this kit is already available you can get it in Modelimax of course I will be happy to hear your opinion here in the comment section below write it here and I will be happy to discuss it with you of course press the like button if you like this video and you would like to subscribe and not to miss any new video reviews and I will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye